Well, good afternoon. I hope you're in all in. I hope you're all enjoying your Sunday, enjoying whatever it is you're doing. Just a very quick update before I go and do what I'm going to do. Excuse the cricket. I'm listening to the cricket on the radio. The Bavarian artillery pieces are finished. I haven't put them together yet, but the, the painting is finished. So that's them. And barrels also are done. So what I will do is I will let the paint dry thoroughly, get a couple of coats of varnish, fit the barrels to the carriages, and then we can base them up on these bases which we've done. So that's the painting for the artillery pieces finished, which is great. Glad to see the back of it. Brilliant. So what we're going to do now, as I told you on the last video, if I remember rightly, is I decided to do some British Hussars. So here is a box of British Hussars. You can buy packets and job lots of them on eBay, which I've done, and that's just one box. I mean, I have. It's going to be relentless pressure, and how they deal with the pressure, how they deal with the skills of a Kulbi. Another box here. A lot of these have got the old enamel paint on them, but that's that's not, you can easily get that off. I tend to like to use um, cellulose thinners, just drop them in some thinners, and just just comes off, and you can scrub them with a toothbrush. So that's that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to sort out two dozen of these. And start cleaning off the flash. That's my job for this afternoon. Go to them. But just to show you sort of how much stuff you can sort of pick up on the ash, as you probably no doubt know. Here's a bag of Airfix Scots Highland Infantry, which I've sort of. I amassed some here and some there and some here and some there and eventually you end up with mountain. I don't actually like Scots Highland infantry from Airfix, I don't actually like them. To be honest with you. But when you buy job lots of figures you get all sorts mixed together, so you pick out what you want and that's what you end up with. And Airfix Highland Infantry, they have a problem going brittle for some reason. I don't know why it's particularly the Highland Infantry, but they have a habit of going brittle and you can just bust them in your fingers. Why it particularly is a problem particularly affects the Highland Infantry, I don't know. Something wrong with a mix of plastic, I don't know, or a reaction with sunlight. I, I really don't know, I really couldn't say, but anyway, these, be warned, be warned, if, if you're going to get Airfix Highland Infantry, they might go brittle on you. I have known it with one or two other figures, they've gone brittle, but 99 times out of 100, if you've got brittle figures, Airfix brittle figures, it's the Highland Infantry. So I have this huge bag of figures I'm not going to do anything with, but anyway. So that's where we're at, that's where we're up to. The painting on these artillery pieces is done. Just got to varnish them, fit them together, base them up, and that's it. That's the Bavarians done. And that's French done. Or French artillery done. That'll be 15 artillery pieces with crew 
for the French, which is brilliant. French have enough cavalry, so that's brilliant. All we need for the French now is six units of infantry, and that would be the French finished. Um, if I can get these two dozen British Tsars done, that'll be enough cavalry for the British. So we're really cracking on with this project now. So we're getting there, and I am itching to get stuck into the um, 135 scale, as you saw the other day. I have so much of it. I'm itching to have a go at that, the bigger scale, and play with that. But we won't do it. We won't touch a single figure until we've done this 20 millimeter project, which is, as I said to you the other day, we're crossing the hill and going down to the run in to the finish now. We're, we're, we're getting there now. So I'm going to crack on with these. 2,000 British Hazars, Airfix British Oh, I'll tell you something quickly. Before I go, what I'm going to do with these, if I can open this box. These boxes are great, as you can see. They're sweetie boxes, so if you've got a sweet store near you, it gets these rubbery, jelly-type sweets in these boxes. Go and ask them for them, for storage. They're absolutely fantastic. These are brilliant. I have mountains of these boxes. They're brilliant. Quite often they'll give them to you. Sometimes they'll say, well, can you make a donation to charity or something, which is, is fine. But these are brilliant. But what I was going to say was, quickly before I go, and let you all get on with your Sunday. Some of these horses be like this for the next like this one. Yeah, well, they, I have a you can one see that. One will have to decide to, so yeah. It's only on um, the stand on two legs, which for me is we not good enough. Over, it's not going to. It's uh, going to do that. And and under war gaming conditions, by, uh, it's going to get damaged. It'll damage your paint job getting knocked about. So. I'm going to find a way of supporting a third leg. I have a couple of ideas how I might do it. So that's something I'm going to have to look at to support the leg on some of these horses. I think that's a bad, bad design on Airfix, is part, just doing it with just two, two legs. Some of them are okay, some of them are fine, but the two-legged ones, we're going to have to do something with them, so also it's four o'clock, four o'clock, yeah, five o'clock. I've been going at this all day, this business. Yeah, we're going to have to find a way of supporting them, just to give them a bit of extra strength for the gaming table. But we'll get our head around it, I'm sure. So I'm going to sort out two dozen of these, start deflashing them, which is a job I absolutely love, and get that well on the way. So thanks for subscribing, thanks for watching, have a nice Sunday, catch you on the next one.